My name is Hans-Peter Pfister. I'm the Anwang Professor of Computer Science at the School of Engineering and Applied Sciences. I work a lot with scientists that have large data problems. On one hand, their data sets are growing because they have better acquisition methods. And on the other hand, they have more complex data and more variety of data from different acquisition modalities and just higher dimensional data in general. So as a data scientist, I like to work with those scientists to solve their problems and to build tools that allow them to either visually look at their data and understand their data, then use machine learning to build models around those data sets, and then extract information, again, in visual form typically, so that they can actually do their science. One of the projects that I'm really excited about has been ongoing for about 10 years, and this is collaboration with Jeff Lickman in neuroscience at the Center for Brain Science here at Harvard. And we've been looking at the connectivity of neurons in the mammalian brain. And what was surprising to me when we started this project is how little is actually known about connectivity between neurons at the synaptic level on a large scale. And the reason for that is that this data has to be acquired at very, very high resolution. So Jeff is using electron microscopy to acquire this data at nanometer resolution, and that just leads to very large data sets if you want to image large volumes of brain tissue. Essentially, Jeff doesn't have methods right now to even look at this data or to analyze this data in an automatic fashion. There is no way that a human could look at the data and make sense of it. And there is also no way that the current models we have are both accurate and fast enough to extract the data automatically. So what we've embarked on is this research agenda to basically on one hand develop automated methods to extract connectivity of neurons from very high resolution electron microscopy images. And on the other hand, make sense of those networks of neurons, also using modeling techniques and computer science to understand how brain motifs lead to behavior. At the end of this, I think we will be able to look at human brain connectivity and understand how nerve cells connect and also understand how human disease affects those connections, which hopefully ultimately will lead to new treatments and maybe some new science that tells us how these diseases really work. I'm really excited to help scientists to solve their problems. And what's gratifying to me is that we're now in a position where we have both the models and the computing infrastructure to actually solve some of these really large scale problems, like it has never been possible before.